23 homers. Kyle Teal, ACC Player of the Year. They have not missed a beat, and they have not missed a beat at the plate this game. Lead off homer for Ferentz. Right off the batter's eye to put the Hoos back up too. And if it weren't for that batter's eye, Jack Kaiser, that one would have traveled some distance. And Griff O'Farrell. O'Farrell charges it out to left center field. Wind is helping it, and it's off the wall on the fly. Virginia scores another run off the RBI double from O'Farrell. Shot up the middle. And O'Farrell, who's very fast, gets the windmill. Throws cut off. And Virginia leads it 5-1. to one. And he's got another. Wow. This guy is ridiculous. Well, somebody in that Virginia dugout needs to start cranking up the old Model T. Three and two. And got him swinging. Running up and away from King. And there's strike three. Blanco with his 11th K. And single to right will make it 9-3 Virginia. There it is. And Anderson was waiting for it. It's down in front of the left fielder, Dickerson, who has a whole lot of trouble with it. And on his way home is Ference. Beard smothers it. Virginia tacks on another. And Louisville saving its top arms for the rest of the weekend. Single into left field by Hansen. Scores one, and it scores two. And still give up a healthy number of runs. This is launched out to right field. More back to the fence, and it's over his head and gone. Eric Becker, the freshman with his second home run of the season. His first came in game one last week against North Carolina, and he's done it again. For Eldrick. There's another run, another single. That off the bat of Antonio Parada. Don't have Virginia explode. This is exploding down the line and looping over the fence. Barron's with his second home run, and Virginia continues its magical day at the plate. 21 runs. through a conversation with Jeff and I as Dickerson slices it over the head. In right field, not over the head, that's caught. Oh wow, what a catch to end the game by Walker Buchanan who just came in.